What's goody guys? What's up, horses powers? Um, I just want to come on here, talk, part three of Let's Talk. <laughs> um, what am I gonna talk about today? Loneliness. I'm gonna talk about loneliness. Um, before anything, I want to ask y'all how y'all been doing. What's been going on? What's new? Has anything been changing? Have you guys get, been getting better? Have you been getting worse? What's been going on? Update on me and where I've been? I've been doing shit, man. I've been doing horrible. I've been doing horrible. Like, just because I do these things and I make the music and whatnot, it does not mean I'm doing great. It does not mean I'm doing good at all. It does not mean I'm at where I want to be. No. I do these because it's it's a it's a way for me to also like when I get if it ever happens which it will happen when I start getting the 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 crowd or whatever the views whatever the people whatever and I start helping more people these videos are to help you guys but also to help me so I can have something to look back at and be like, damn, like I'm feeling like this. And then I forgot I, I made this video or I forgot I said these things. And then I go back and I'm like, damn. But I just want to say that my mind's all over the place. I don't really like to fucking edit these shits because it's like, why the fuck should I? It's just like raw shit, whatever. Um, but I've been doing bad. I've been doing bad. I've been, I've just been depressed, man. Depressed. My bipolar has just been like ah. My anxiety just has me like blah. Like when my depression combines with my bipolar. See, my depression, it just mentally and physically drains me. It makes me look at the world black and white, having no energy to do anything, to talk or text or. Like I even been struggling to make. A video. I've been wanting to make a video. I've been wanting to like do a motivational video or something. And I've been wanting to make music. But. For some odd reason. I just. I've been down. I've been like. i just been so out of energy man. Like I don't know. I wake up every day and I just realize how this world is. This world is just so. The. The. the, the this fucking world is just. It's draining, it's it's tiring, and then you don't really have anybody really by your side constantly helping you, and and then when you do, it's in like once in a while type of shit, because you can't constantly go to somebody, because when you go constantly to somebody, they just get mad at you, they get frustrated at you, you start to become like a burden, or they don't know what to do, or it's always something, so then you become affected by it, but, like I was saying, when my depression hits me, I tend to just fall, and then I get, like I said, mentally and physically drained. Then I just get, I lack on everything, then I don't have the motivation to push myself, then I start giving up on things, and then I don't want to go on. And then that can combine with my anxiety or bipolar, can combine with both. And then when my bipolar comes in, my bipolar just makes me have different mood swings. I'll be feeling like this. I'll be feeling like that. I'll be feeling like some all these type of shits all at once. And then I'll just be feeling agitated and then out of it. And then I'll just be feeling all like gloomy. Like what? And then my mind just, my mind just feels all clogged up. And then it's just like, and then that just makes it 10 times worse. Because now I'm just stuck there where I want to push myself. But I don't have the energy to push myself. So I start to slowly give up on things. And then everything starts to become like a shit show. Because my mind just starts feeling all watery. Like my mind just feels all clogged up and shit. Like when when you when you have a drainer on like. I forget what that shit's called. When on like on the tub or something. And you could like. um Instead of. You know, like, when the, the, the sink or the tub gets, like, filled with water, and then it has that fucking button thingy, plug thingy, whatever you can push down or up, and then when you push it up, the water's not draining out, so it's, like, all clogged up there. And then when you put it down, it's, like, psh, flushes it all out. Well, that's how it is. And then my anxiety comes out of nowhere makes me overwhelmed because now I'm over, now I'm here stuck with no energy and not being able to push myself. 
And then I'm pushing people away because depression doesn't like it when I really want to go to people because it makes me feel like I'm just being a, bo- a burden to people. So then that puts me in a funk and that puts me in a hole. So now I'm digging myself a hole 10 times more than what I already am. So then it makes me hit like rock bottom. And then I don't have anything going for me. So then that makes it fucking worse. And then anxiety is there like, hey, buddy, do you remember you had these goals? Do you remember this? Do you remember that you got to pay the bills? Do you remember that you got to get something going on for your life? Do you remember the things that you wanted to accomplish? Do you remember this? Do you remember what that person said? Dude, and then I just start getting into this mentality of overthinking. Then when I overthink, I just become all crazy because now I'm fucking getting stuck because now I'm getting anxious that I'm not doing anything with my life. Now my depression and bipolar are hitting me because my de- if, my bi- if my bipolar is on a mania of low, that makes it worse because then that's taken so much out of me, so much energy, so much strength, so much time, so much of everything. And then depression comes and it's like, ah, uh, your anxiety is being a bitch, dude. You should just calm the fuck down and not do anything about it. So then I get stuck in a hole of darkness where it's like, I want to get the fuck out of there. I see the light all the way up there. But when I'm all the way fucking down here, trapped with my fucking anxiety and bipolar and depression, it's like kaboof. It's like when a tsunami just fucking comes all over you and it just fucking takes you wherever it's going to take you or a tornado and just fucking makes you go flying and sends your body flying somewhere and then you just fall high up from the ground and and then when you fall, you fucking break yourself and then when you break yourself you are so crumbled in pain that you're just there trying to get back up and you're just crawling your way up but you can't because all the tools and all the strategies that you have fucking fade away because your mind is in a different mindset you're on a different level you're in a different darkness you're in a different wave compared to other people and now it makes it harder for you to really see anything on the bright side and hardly be able to be positive because your mind is just being fluttered with these negative thoughts and the lack of energy the lack of potential the lack of motivation the lack of everything so then you start becoming all this shit and then fucking suicide comes and be in be in is like the cherry on top like like my fucking pointy tail thingy and it fucking just poof it's like a nuclear bomb when it hits and it's just like and all that radiation shit that's disgusting that gets inside of us kills you and shit. That's how it is. Because then suicide thoughts come in. They just become like, they're manageable. Then they become something that's like, oh, okay, this is becoming too much. And then they become urges. Where it's like, it becomes something real. And... Guys, it's not easy. It's not easy. It's not easy. It's not easy because... Then when all that happens, you tend, you tend to start pushing people away, you tend to want to shut down, you tend to want to not speak, you tend to want to not do anything, you tend to just want to, you have this mentality where it's like, well, this is it, this is where I'm going to be for the rest of my life, I'm a failure, I'm this, I'm that, and then you become lonely. Now this is where my topic comes in, guys. Guys, this is where... Even I'm trying to work on it because it's, it's taken me a, a while. But I mean, I can tell I've come a f- long way. If you if you met the old Jeff compared to the new Jeff, you can see how much I've improved. Look, being lonely sucks. But loneliness teaches you something. Loneliness teaches you that you can do anything on your own. Loneliness teaches you how to build yourself up in the darkness. Loneliness teaches you a lot of valuable things about yourself. Loneliness teaches you how to love yourself and appreciate yourself and be worthy of your own self and push yourself and motivate yourself. Because when you're so low, dude, eventually you get tired of it. Most people don't want to kill themselves. So that's the least they that's the least thing they want to run to. And then they and if they run to it and they tempted it or they were about to attempt it. If they were about to tempt it, they stop themselves, they end up crying, they feel 10 times worse than before, so now you feel more stuck. If you did it and you survived it, it's way shittier because now you're with that mentality in your brain where you have those memories of, fuck, 
if you did it more than once or you did it once, you're now living with those mem that memory or memories of like, damn, I did that. Like, but look, even if you failed, it's okay. Just learn how to get yourself back up because like I was saying, you get to a point where you get fed up with this. You get fed up trying. You get fed up with, with what you're doing. So then you want to start coming up with new ideas. You want to start coming. You want to get to the bottom of this. Guys, don't give up because eventually everything's going to start to fall in its place. Everything's going to get better. It's hard. It's hard because it's like you're dealing with this clogness up in your head and you're feeling no blood and you don't even know what to do and you're just feeling stuck and then trapped and... And then you go to people and you feel like talking to people isn't even fucking worthy of doing that. Because it's like you just feel like you get nowhere. You feel like they don't get you. You feel misunderstood. You feel criticized. You feel like a burden. So it's like, fuck. That's why you should start journaling. When you're feeling like this, even if you don't have the energy, push yourself. Push yourself to do things. You want to know how you're going to get comfortable with yourself? You know how you're going to learn how to fight through these things. You know how you're going to learn how to overcome this in, in that darkness. When you're in that dark pit and you don't have any light. And you're just walking and walking. And you don't even know where the fuck you walk into. But you're walking. Look. As long as you put a foot after the other one. It eventually will fall into its place. Everything that you were. Like your purpose in life. And everything that you're meant to be in life. It's going to come to you. It's just up to you if you're going to continue to take those steps. What are the answers to those steps? I don't know because everybody has a different life. But how do you start to get comfortable with yourself? How do you start changing yourself? Start pushing yourself. Go to the gym. Every morning when you wake up and you're about to brush your teeth and wash your face, look at yourself in the mirror. Every day practice it too. Everything that you are going to start doing, start doing it as a daily thing. Don't just don't just start doing it and then just drop it and then boom. Because that's the thing. You're never going to get out of it if you don't actually start committing to it. It's like going to the gym. You have to stay committed to it. Or like when you go to, to school. What's the thing that you need to do in order to pass school? Is go and do the work, study it, and hope for the best. And if you're doing any, everything right, it's going gonna, it's gonna to happen. You're going you're gonna to succeed. That's the same thing with yourself. If you want to start getting better with yourself and you want to start loving yourself and caring for yourself and all this shit, and you want to start getting out of this mentality, start eating healthy. Start looking at yourself in, in the mirror every day. If you can't do it for three minutes, do it for, start off with 20 seconds. Then build that 20 seconds to 50 seconds. Then those 50 seconds... Every day, just just increase that. And then once you start increasing that to enough time, then start telling yourself things every morning. Start telling yourself positive things. Even if you're having a shitty day, even if your mood is shitty, even if you're lacking on energy, even if you don't want to do anything, even if you don't want to live, even if you don't want to see anything, even if you don't want to be around anybody, even if you don't want to go to work, even if you don't want to go to school, no matter what it is, just do it. Because eventually you're going you're gonna to start getting yourself in that mentality. The reason why you're so the reason why we're so stuck and I'm stuck and you're stuck and everybody's stuck whoever's watching this cuz nobody's just going to be watching this to watch this unless if you're the type to actually try to help people like us and that's a different thing then you're learning or whatever. But if you're like me and you or whatever, look. The only way you're going to get out of this is by you stopping yourself telling yourself that oh this happened to me or that happened to me or this. Like you have to start you have to start to stop dwelling on the past. Even though it's difficult. Even though you have no control over it. But really you do have control over it. We have control over it. Because think about it. Let me, let me test this out for you. Green elephant. You're going to start thinking about a green elephant. And then that start, that's, that's going to start getting stuck in your head. Now see when you start putting positive thoughts in your mind. It's going to start getting a little bit better. And again, this is all a process. It could take weeks. It could take months. It could take years. That's just one step. Take it little by little by little. Take it baby steps. Don't just overwhelm yourself too. Because if you overwhelm yourself, you're going to be like, eh, I don't want to do this. No. Now, take it step by step. 
And as you keep telling yourself that in the morning, you write in your journal or in your memo pad on your phone, you're gonna start getting, you're gonna start seeing a little bit of a difference. Start going to the gym. Start eating healthy. Pay attention to what you're eating. The friends have a big impact on us too. If you're around people that make you feel alone, that also can have an effect on you. Family as well. Littlest things that you might not realize that pick, that take a toll on you are taking a toll on you. It could be the habits that you're doing. Like, look. This, this shit is killing me. If you're wondering that is, that is a pipe with um nicotine. Yes, you're going to be like, what the fuck? You smoke, you smoke nicotine off a pipe? What's wrong with you? Because most of it, most of the time, it's just used to smoke weed. <laughs> me, on the other hand, I use that shit to smoke nicotine. A lot of people in the public be looking at me like... <laughs> but... Anyways, guys, like I was saying... Do those things. But yeah, that, that thing is killing me. Because, like... Ah, uh, yeah, I remember. Yo, I tend to lose my train of thought because my mind be all over the place. My bad. But... Like I was saying... That is killing me. So what happens when I'm I'm feeling decent? What happens when I'm o- I'm doing okay and I'm like chilling or whatever? My mood's decent. I start to smoke that. My fucking body level, my energy level, something inside of me just feels like, <clears throat> like I just feel so out of it and I don't I, I don't know. I just I tend to feel mentally and physically drained and then that just makes me feel all wobbly and sloppy and like. <sighs> And I try to stop it, but it's like something that's like my body craves for. I don't crave for it. My body just craves for it. The inside of me is like, nah, stop that. That is disgusting. But my body's like, or whatever that shit's called, like addiction, I guess you can say. But it's, it's, life is tough, guys. Life isn't easy. Life was never meant to be easy because it's overwhelming. It has too much going on. As you get older, life just becomes a challenge and overwhelming. But you have to take it step by step, man. Take it step by step. Even if you're not seeing anything moving forwards, eventually everything's going to start moving forwards. Eventually you're going to start feeling better. Eventually you're going to find yourself and you're going to find the right people and you're going to find your yourself again. You're going to find yourself feeling better. But you also have to put your part. You also have to take ignition and take control over your life. You have to start believing that you deserve a lot. I can believe in you and I can throw all these positivity things to you or I could try to lift you up and try to get you, try to like get you, give you the right advice or whatever. But if you don't, if you don't start working that on yourself, you don't start trying to push yourself, you don't start taking control over your actions and your thoughts and and what you're doing, it's never going to get better, man. You're just going to keep sinking and sinking and sinking. Like, it, it's a challenge. It's a challenge. That's why you got to challenge yourself. Because if you... Look, drinking is one th- big thing that a lot of people deal with. Mentally. That like people that are mentally not good. When you drink, and you keep doing it over and over and over and over and over and over again... That's a cycle that you're getting yourself in which is going to cause you to be in a dark pit of hole. That is going to cause you to lose your friends, to lose your family, to lose everything. And you don't want that. Because you already are at rock bottom. Why are you going to put yourself more at rock bottom? It's not your fault. Not saying that it is your fault because I was like that. Luckily I'm overcoming that. You have to start taking control over that. Because if you don't stop drinking, you're just going to sink. But if you start challenging yourself, telling yourself, you know what? I'm going to start. I'm going to stop. I'm going to stop. I have to stop. And if it's going to take you a while, like let's just say you're the type that you need to drink something. Then buy a nip. Buy a nip. Start, start, don't start crazy, don't just go cold turkey, because if you go cold turkey, that shit's gonna kill you. But, buy just one, buy a can of beer, and take that, 
don't just constantly keep buying like how you normally buy the the average like five four six seven like eight whatever i don't know how many you guys have i used to fucking drink the fireballs and fucking jack daniels and i used to have like 10 of them bitches nine of them the most i would go for is 11 and then when i would drink the beer cans i'd have two fucking beer cans of four locos every single day getting fucked up getting fucked up just numbing myself and then doing this horrible shit, the smoking weed, um, smoking cigarettes. And weed too. So I was combining so much shit in my system just to make myself feel numb, which it wasn't even making me feel numb. And if it was, it was just making me feel like shit. It was just making me feel worse. It was just making me cry. It was just making me feel angry. No. But if you start challenging yourself and you start cutting it low, and you go on from there and start cutting it more and more and more and more, and you start practicing it every day. You're eventually gonna want to stop. That you're eventually gonna your yourself is not even gonna crave it anymore. You're gonna come to a point where you're just gonna not even notice that you're not gonna drink anymore. At first, it's gonna be difficult, but as you keep practicing these things, it's gonna become less and less and less. And you gotta start doing these things. Start telling. If you got a, if you got your own room and shit, start putting shit up the wall. Start putting shit up, like, for example, like, I don't know if you can see that, but, like, how, there's, like, that thing that's, like, slided on the, on the side, that little small orange thing, I don't know if you can see it, can you see it? Yeah, I guess you can, up there, well, if you see that, that's a ZR1 Corvette, that's a Porsche, and on top of there is a drawing that I draw. Well, am I showing that to you? Because if you, if, like, get, put shit around your room, like, get motivational quotes, put quotes, put... Put, get in, get in, get in, get a vision board. Start, start building yourself up. If you're not working, if you're not doing anything, then stop. Then start coming up with ideas on how to build yourself. Start coming up with ways and ideas and visions and dreams that you want. Even if they sound crazy to others, even if it sounds crazy to you at first, but start believing in them. Start some way or somehow following those dreams. Start creating ideas for yourself. Start building yourself up it's time to change guys it's time to change i don't think you want to keep living for the rest of your life depressed drinking numbing yourself not having anything going on for yourself everybody passing you by while you're behind the line and you're trying to be in first place but you're in last place and nobody's really grabbing your hand nobody's coming to rescue you but yourself is it going to be hard fuck yes fuck yes everything is hard when you're starting to become different, when you're starting to evolve, when change is starting to come into your life, by the way, change, is co change comes to you at the right moment. And change comes to you in a weird-ass way. It comes into your life in ways that you're not even ready for. But once, start, once change starts coming into your life, you're going to start feeling different. You're going to start lifting yourself up. Even if you fall, you're going to get yourself back up. And you're going to try again and again and again, no matter how many times you fail. Because as you fail each time, you're going to start getting better. You're going to start evolving. You're going to start, start getting comfortable with yourself. Start going out of your comfort zone. Start doing things differently. Start thinking differently. Start pushing yourself. Guys, I'm telling you, it's, it is possible. You can do anything. It's up to you to believe. Believe that you can. Stop believing the things that you're telling yourself. Stop telling yourself that you're, that you're shit, that you're not worthy, that you're... Stop. Because you're none of that. Just because shit happens to us doesn't mean we're deserving of that. It was just because life was trying to teach us a lesson or because that person fucking wanted to hurt us and then we had to deal with the consequences that we shouldn't have dealt with. But don't beat yourself up for something that you're not... That's not your fault. And if it is your fault, learn from it. Don't look at it as a bad thing like, fuck, I fucked up, this and that. You might have fucked up. But that fucked up is going to turn into a lesson. You're going to grow from it. Everything that we learn, every, you know what, you know what's crazy? Have you ever, have you ever been through a shitty ass situation and then years pass by and then out of nowhere that, that shitty situation came into your mind that you forgot about it, that you forgot that you were even going through that. And you look back and you're like, 
I was really like that, or I was really going through that. Like, look at me now. That's how life is, man. Don't worry about what people think. Don't worry about anything. Just do it. Cause if you don't, if you don't never, if you never start it, then it's never gonna happen. Like if I never pushed myself that one day, guys, I was, I was on this right here. I was literally laying on this shit. When I first started freestyling. Dude. I don't. I, I, I can't. I can't sit here and tell you that. Yeah I'm gonna. I can only use my faith. And hope that I, I, I can envision it. And see it in my head. But I can't prove it to you that's gonna happen. I can only believe it's gonna happen. I never thought I. I never. I never. I never thought I was going to get into music. I never thought I was going to do some shit like that. And I'm not saying that I'm like the best or the greatest. No, I still got I got I still have improvement. I still have a lot of shit to improve. But what I want to say is who knows by me taking that step, who knows what can happen next month? Who knows what can happen tomorrow? Who knows what can happen next week? Who knows what can happen in a year? If I continue to dedicate this shit myself to this if I dedicate to start bettering myself so I can start helping you guys. If I start dedicating to better myself even more so I can go out there and go to different cities or towns and and ask and tell people about what my plan is. like, And invite them to every Friday or Saturday night or somewhere. Find a place where we meet up and I start helping people out. We start helping each other out. We start talking about mental health. Create, a, create an environment where people don't get to express how they feel. Create a place for one day a week or one day every weekend where people can actually start feeling like they have a home. Feeling like they have a place to event. Feeling like they have a, they have a voice. Guys, you got to start doing things for yourself and for others. Better yourself. Because you never know if you by bettering yourself or you're in the journey of bettering yourself, you're going to find yourself bumping into people that you never thought you were ever going to meet. You were gonna, you're going to find yourself bumping into situations or circumstances that are going to be a blessing to your life. If you push yourself out of your comfort zone and you start doing things that you normally don't do, doors are going to start opening for you. Because as you take that step after that step and you just keep moving forwards and you keep going even if you fall you get yourself back up or you crawl your way up to get yourself back up you're gonna start seeing the light this journey was never meant to be easy the reason why the journey is so difficult before there is the light that you get to see it's because the darkness the storms the, the cloudy days the rough days the days that you fell the days where you weren't doing anything all of this has been to build you up, to be, to make you into the person that you need, that you need to become, to show you that you're worthy, to show you that you're better than whatever you are thinking about yourself, to push yourself, to motivate yourself, to become a better version of your old self or the person that you are right now, to evolve into something ten times better, to impress yourself, to prove people wrong, to we have to be. We have to be like, fuck, I can't think of that word. We have to be like, we have to be examples for people that don't have hope. If I do this, I do it because I'm trying to better myself and I'm trying to prove myself wrong. But I'm also trying to prove others wrong. Those that don't believe, that they're like, man, uh, this and that, like, there's no point of living and this and that. Yo, I'm on the same, po I'm on the same boat as you. I'm on the same boat. I want to fucking give up. I want to fucking end myself. I don't want to be here. Dude, I'm tired of waking up. I'm tired of I'm, I'm seeing the same shit. But I want to be one of those few people that at least can say, yo, if I do it and if I prove you wrong, then you're going to do it too. Because you can do something much better than what I can. And who knows, you can impact the world ten times more than what I'm going to impact the world. But it's not about competition. It's not about who can do more, who can't do more. It's not about who's on the top and who's who's not at the top. 
It's not about none of that. It's about you bettering yourself and you getting yourself out of this negative mentality, this negative cloudness, this negative world. And unleashing your powers, unlocking your powers, releasing your potential that you have because we all have a major potential for every, for a single part in our life. That's why we have a purpose in this world. But you have to go out there and figure it out. You have to push yourself and find yourself. You have to push yourself and take time with yourself. You have to figure yourself out. You have to dedicate time to yourself. You have to invest time into yourself. Because if you never invest anything into yourself, you're never going to get better. Guys, I do these things because... I do the... First off, I want to say... All this shit that I say, it comes from my bottom of my heart. From my soul. This shit is not easy. To just go on and like vent and like talk and everything, it's not easy. It's not easy. Especially when you deal with anxiety and everything. It's like... <laughs> um, but I just hope these videos help. They might not be the best, but there's something. I just want you guys to know that you're not alone. I want you guys to know that that you guys don't only struggle. There's people like you and me that are struggling. The same, similar, if not worse. We're all this we are all in this together. And by that I mean that we're all fighting the same battle. We're all trying to seek that light. We're all trying to overcome this. So nobody's really alone. And there is people out there that are willing to help each other. That are willing to help others. That are willing to make others feel better. That are willing to do anything to try to lift others up. To try to give them hope. Don't give up guys. Because you never know what you can become. You never know what you can do for this world. You can believe in yourself. Just because you came from a shitty home. Or you have had a shitty experiences in your life. Or you've been a bad person. It's never too late to change for the better. It's never too late to evolve. It's never too late for anything. Keep your head up, guys. I'm serious. Keep your head up. You don't have to like when you watch these videos, you don't have to watch them and like and like actually you can watch them while doing homework and just have me playing in the background as if I'm there next to you as a friend or whatever. Or you can while you're walking your dog or you're driving your car and you're going to work or something. Because I know these shits are long. I don't tend to make like 10, 15 minute videos. Because I, really like I really like to take my time with this. I really like to speak my mind. I don't like to just... Yo, some weird shit keeps popping up, keeps popping up on my phone. Like a green, creepy scream shit. That ain't funny. <laughs> but... Um... You don't have to like sit here like how I am. Like if I was were to, if I were to watch my video, just like pay attention to it. Like no, you can do whatever. If you need to do some shit else, do it. Cause I know these things are long, especially this one. This one's like thirty three minutes long. God damn, didn't thought it was gonna be that long, but yep. Anyways, guys, I hope these videos are helping. I want to tend to do more and more and more. We're just going to keep rising, guys. Don't give up. And like I said, if you need to reach out, whatever, reach out to me. Message me. You can message me on here, Talk Life, Insta, Facebook, whatever, whatever. Anyways, y'all, have a good day. Have a blessed day. Keep your head up. Don't lose yourself, even if you are. Come back to this video and watch it over and over and over and over. You have my music, too? Yeah. Anyways, take care, y'all.